Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week four, week four of the St. Mark's Summer Kids Club. Well, today is our last day talking about God's good creation. We've learned about a lot of things that God made. Plants, animals, people like you and me. But there's one part of the story that we haven't talked about yet. And it's a very, very important part of the story. I wonder, friends, have you ever taken on like a really, really big project? Like a special craft or an art project or a science experiment? Maybe something for school or just for fun? Big projects take a lot of work and a lot of time. How long did it take you to finish your big project? Maybe an hour, two hours, a whole day, or two days, maybe even longer. Hmm, well, now that I think about it, creating the world was like God's big project. God worked really, really hard on it, making everything so perfect and beautiful and amazing. For six whole days, God worked and worked and worked. That's almost a whole week. There was so much to do. It was the biggest project that anyone had ever taken on. And when God's big project was finally done, how do you think God was feeling? Do you think God was feeling excited, relieved, happy? Well, the Bible says that on the seventh day, after those six long days of work, hard work, creating the whole world, God decided to rest. That's right. God rested on that seventh day from all his work. I wonder what it looks like for God to rest. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thought, isn't it, friends? Does it mean that God lays his head down and takes a nap? Does it mean that God <sighs> yawns, closes his eyes and dreams and drools on his pillow? I don't really know, to be honest. That's what you and I look like when we go to sleep. But rest is a little bit different than sleep, isn't it? Sometimes rest means quietly reading a book under a shady tree. Sometimes it means playing a favorite board game with our family. Sometimes it means laying down in the grass and looking up at the clouds for all the different shapes that we can see. All of these things and many more can help us rest. But the most important thing about rest, whatever we do really, is that we remember, that we remember, that we stop and remember all of the good gifts that God has given us. We remember that we are surrounded by so much beauty in nature. We remember who we are, who God created us to be. This is why our rest is so important to God. And can I let you in on a little secret, friends? Kids are so much better at resting than grown-ups. You guys are so much better at remembering God's good creation. Grown-ups, we work too much, we get wrapped up in all the things that we need to do, and we just, we just forget. We forget who we truly are and the good gifts that God has given us. So all the grown-ups in your life need your help, truly. We need to be reminded to rest. You can help us do that. Remind us to rest. Show us how to enjoy God's good creation, all of God's gifts, wherever we are. All right, friends, it's time to pray together. Will you pray with me? You can repeat after me. 
dear God, thank you for your good creation. Thank you for teaching us to rest so we can remember all your good gifts. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, it is time to open the last activity pack for this month's Kids Club Bundle. I hope that you enjoy it. But don't worry. This is the last pack for this bundle, but there will be another bundle arriving at your house very, very soon. And we'll be starting a brand new story from a different part of the Bible to go with all of the fun activities in that bundle, okay? So have fun with this one, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Take care, friends. Bye.